What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. Thanks for coming out. Today we are smoking some goose pastrami. Well my oh my, we're getting ready to fix ourselves some goose pastrami. And I have here two breasts from a Canada goose. And you can use any type of goose breast for this recipe. Wild, domestic, if you only have duck breasts, you can use those too. Any of those will work for this pastrami. The size of your breasts are gonna depend on whether it's wild or domestic. Doesn't matter the size, these are a pretty good size, about a pound and a half total between the two breasts. So the first step for goose pastrami is you're gonna to wanna to cure it for at least three days. And I already did that. So these breasts have already been curing. So let's go back and I'll show you how we did that process. So for this cure, you're gonna to wanna to start with a half a cup of curing salt or meat cure. I used Morton's Tender Quick, a quarter cup of coarse black pepper, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of granulated garlic, two teaspoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of ground coriander, and one tablespoon of thyme. You're just gonna to wanna to blend that all together, get it into a good mixture, and make sure you generously cover both sides of your breasts. From there, you just wanna pop it into a bag. You can use a vacuum sealer. I just use a resealable bag and pop it in the fridge for at least three days. And that's where we are now with our breasts. We took them out, rinsed them under cool water, let them sit in a bowl of cool water for about 45 minutes to help draw out some of that salt. Then we rinse it off, patted it dry, and now we're gonna get to the next step. And our next step is our pastrami rub. So I have some stuff here that we're gonna make a pastrami rub with. You can use any kind of store-bought rub, your own recipe, whatever floats your boat, but we're gonna get started and put together our mixture right here. And we're gonna start with two tablespoons of coarse black pepper, one tablespoon of ground coriander. I have a mixture here of two teaspoons each, garlic powder and onion powder, one tablespoon of brown sugar, half a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Oop, spilling it all over the place and half a teaspoon of mustard powder. Just gonna wanna mix that all together. Gonna make for a really great pastrami rub. Oh yeah, looking good. Get it all mixed and then you're just gonna cover your goose breasts with the rub. Flip them on over, get the other side. Rub it on in, looks beautiful. And that will about do it, looks good. That's all there is to it, to these goose breasts. Let's go pop them in the smoker. All right, y'all, so we're out here at the Gorilla Grills Silverback Alpha. We got it rolling at 225 degrees. For this smoke, I'm rolling with some pecan pellets from Bear Mountain Barbecue. For some extra smoke flavor, I have the Shark Outdoors Barbecue Smoker Box. What I like to do is take a handful of pellets from the hopper and put them at the bottom of the box, take a propane torch, and then char them for a few minutes until we get some good smoke rolling, almost like a bed of charcoal. Then from there, I'm gonna add some more wood chips. I have some cherry wood chips to get a good mixture of cherry and pecan for these goose breasts. For this goose pastrami, we wanna take it to an internal temp of 150 degrees. I have my meter plus monitoring my internal temps, got it set up on the app to call me at 150. The time that it's gonna take to smoke your goose pastrami is all gonna depend on how thick they are, anywhere from an hour to three hours. So pay attention to your internal temp, and when you hit that 150 mark, Pull it and eat. Our goose pastrami is complete. We hit an internal temp of 150 degrees. Let it rest for about 10 minutes. It took just under two hours. Again, it's going to depend how thick your breasts are, but these took just shy of two hours. The color on our goose breasts is perfect. It's nice and firm, it smells amazing, and I'm ready to just cut right in 
to one of our breasts. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, some nice thin slices. That is exactly what we are looking for in our pastrami for our goose. You have that really, really good salt. That rub is perfect. That cure did a perfect job. It's not too dry. It still has some good juice in it, but it's right at that perfect consistency for good pastrami in there. It's got a good flavor. It's not too gamey. It's not overly powerful. But man, I just can't stop eating it at this point. I mean, you can eat this as is, put it on a sandwich with some pickle. Possibilities are endless. However you do it, you can't go wrong. Pull it at that 150 internal temp. Man, the meter plus never lets me down. Always gives that perfect temperature to all of these meats. The silverback putting in some work with those pecan pellets give a good smoke flavor. That shark smoker box adds that extra smoky flavor. And that's it. You have some awesome goose brush pastrami again. You can use wild goose, you can use domestic goose, you can use duck, wild or domestic as well. This recipe will work with all of the above. If you want some good flavorful pastrami, you're looking for something different to do with your goose meat, this is the way to go. So get yourself some goose breasts, cure it for a few days, pop it in the fridge, put it in the smoker and get some awesome goose pastrami. You're gonna love it. Thanks for coming out. Stay tuned for the next video.